Could I request uh, Professor Dieter Leffle, uh, Professor of Regional Urban Economics, Hafen City University, Hamburg, to make his comments? Chairman. Yes, uh, not being uh, an expert on Mumbai, I will anyhow take the risk to place Mumbai in, in the range of our global city, since we have already discussed. So, with London and New York, it was evident. This has been the comeback cities with a very dynamic demographic and economic uh, development. The same was with Shanghai, with enormous dynamic of economic and uh, population growth. Berlin and Johannesburg, they suffer from a specific transition I won't discuss now, but uh, Mexico was a very specific case. In Mexico, we had a strongly expand, or not strongly, but still expanding city in a demo demo demographic way, but a shrinking city in an economic way. And now Mambe, despite the slowing down of the rural uh, urban migration, it's still growing in a demographic way. In Mambe, we see an important shift to a knowledge in knowledge economy, as Saskia has shown. But what is very important with, with, with Mombe, that if we look in the last 10 years, we have a strong decrease in formal employment. And we have a strong increase of informal employment, casual employment, self-employment. And this gives an enormous pressure on the government to react more or less as an employment system, not as a decision system, which reinforces again the pressure of retreat of the, of the state, which reinforces again this problem of employment. So what, what we see is this very complicated interaction between globalization, informalization, urbanization, and the more liberal regime of politics. And this leads to a strong segmentation, fragmentation, exclusion. And uh, well, when, when now, I think there's a key point now. How, how judge we the informal economy? And I think Saskia will, 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 will agree that what we see in Dharavi or what we see alongside the water side is not the new informal economy. But it's a degraded form of strategies of surviving by a strong form, we will discuss later, by a strong form of, of, of exclusion. So if this is right, there are still, as you know, as you said, I, I'm, I, I'm convinced there are still forms of this new informal economy you can find, but it, the question is what is the majority of these informal activities? And I think there's this, this your, your notion of formal informal uh, sector is, is a very interesting interface between the two systems. But if my, 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 my sketch is right, so we cannot hope that there will be a solution of this exclusion, of this uh, segregation by focusing on the global city strategy. But we have to discuss how we can build bridges from this informal economy to the formal economy. So sanitary education will be key issues. But we also have to rediscuss manufacturing. For, you know, we have this big problem of this uh, breaking down of the manufacturing without uh, upgrading and transforming of the manufacturing. So we have to discuss the notion, you also discuss the new urban manufacturing or other forms of manufacturing. So this, I think, we, we, we open up new perspectives we haven't discussed in the other urban our other urban age cities. And I think it's a very, very interesting case study we should take serious in its specificity and its very specific dynamics, which are strongly reinforced by globalization, but also strongly determined by the history and the specific context. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rakesh, a, a last word. Yes, uh, I think that we've had a really uh, very, very interesting discussion, which just illustrates how we are in the midst of uh, transition to uh, higher economic growth. Uh, and I think that the comments have illustrated some of the fears 
But what I would say is that it's imperative that we, make, we accelerate urbanization, and I think uh, the point made by Professor Lepley on um, manufacturing, that in India we normally almost never talk about manufacturing in connection with urbanization, very different from other cities. We seem to be afraid of manufacturing in our cities, but in fact it's really manufacturing, bringing manufacturing into the middle of cities uh, with people employed in those uh, jobs is gonna make a difference. So we really have to approach this transition of faster urbanization, faster economic growth, with confidence rather than fear. And I think that is what Mr. Patak uh, illustrated. I didn't detect any fear in him in what he's doing in Mumbai. And all power to you, Mr. Patak, for going on con with, with, with the confidence. We have to make our cities, however, much more people friendly in India than they currently are. It is just not comfortable living in our cities today. And we have to make them comfortable and therefore people should be happy to come into the city because they're going to get jobs and be comfortable. Thank you very much. Thank you. The uh, three main speakers and the four discussants all succeeded admirably in giving us a lot of food for thought in that session. They reacted to each other brilliantly.